Hey everyone, in this tutorial we are going to solve the sum double exercise of the Java warm-up one section of codingbat.com. Let's begin. The information we are given is given two int values return their sum. Alright, unless the two values are the same, in that case then we return double their sum. So what we want to do is return the sum if the two values are different and return double two times the sum if the values are the same. So let's start off by making a new int and we'll call this sum and what we're going to do is just set that to a plus b which is the sum of the two values passed. So the first one we're going to do is check for if a does not equal b and that will be this case. We'll return the sum if the two values are different. All we need to do here is return sum. That'll be great. And then we can put an else, or we don't really need an else because it'll return anyway, so we can just return two times sum right here. And this should work for us. Let's check it out. Cool. It works. Now there's a few ways to optimize this. The first one being we don't need to actually create this sum variable. We can just do everything in if statements. So we can start with a if a equals b equals equals b. What do we want to do if they're equal? we want to return two times the sum. So we can return two times and then put in parentheses a plus b. We need them in parentheses because the order of operations would do two times a first and then add b to it which would be the wrong answer. And then basically else we don't need an else because that'll return. We can just do return a plus b. And this should work as well. Correct. Ooh, I even got a star. There's another way to optimize this. We can do it on one line and it's called the conditional operator. It's using the question mark and a colon. I'll show you how this is done. What we want to do is return and then what we want to do is do a test right here. So our test is going to be a equals equals b. So, so that'll return true if a equals b. And then we put a question mark and what this means is whatever's next, whatever I write next, we do if the a equals equals b evaluates to true. So what do we want to do? We want to return two times the sum. So we could do a plus b. Also right here, if you notice, they're going to be the same. So that's basically saying 2 times a. And if we do 2 times 2 times a, that's basically saying 4 times a. So we can change that to 4 times a. And the next thing we need to do is write a colon. And what that means is whatever's after this will get done if this evaluates to false. So what we want to do? Return a plus b, or the sum. And that should also work. There we go. All correct. That's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.